Izu, day two. It's on, it's happening. <laughs> Delayed opening at 3 p.m., but it's happening. So we'll see what happens. I need to shower, get ready. This is what we're working with. <laughs> Let me get this together, get the outfit together, and we'll see if they have the stages together. This is where we're at. This is where we're at. This is the real me. Fresh out of the shower, <laughs> cinnamon roll, um, hair towel. I think I'm gonna go blue bodysuit today. I think that's the move. I got these pasties for it. So cute. Never nude is the only pasty brand you can trust. Trust me, I learned the hard way. <laughs> Let's get ready. If anyone cares about my hair routine, I have this. There. This, I spray it in the scalp. And then I mix Redken Bleach Recovery, Olaplex number no. nine, and Sebastian Dark Oil in my hand and do it through my hair. I'm gonna blow dry my hair today so it's easier to manage. So I'm gonna use the Olplex blow drying mist. All right, I honestly think I'm gonna do like a very similar look to yesterday. So don't get too excited. The goal for today is to not have to redo my makeup when I go out tonight. I'm going to Photon at the Knockdown Center. It's a techno thing. I'm so excited. I need some techno in my life. I haven't been to like a techno only event in a long time. <laughs> it's been a lot of house. A lot of house. That's it. Also, we'll see how well that works. Honestly, think I might do the same blush as yesterday. I really liked it. I actually got a lot of compliments on it. You know, I thought it looked kind of crazy. I love this blush. I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I know what you're thinking, but just trust the process. I don't know what to do for my eyes because I did blue yesterday, but my outfit is blue today. So maybe I can do some silver action. Maybe that. Maybe that's the vibe. We have some options. We have some options. I have many palettes. It came out really nice. Natasha Denona has the best eyeshadows in the, on the planet. If you know, you know. If you don't, you should. <laughs> you literally can never get my eyebrows right. But the thing I like about this pencil is that like, if you put it on too much, it slowly fades away. Not to the point where you won't have eyebrows by the end of the night, but like if you do it too intense, you will like sweat it off and then, and then it looks perfect. My eyebrows are usually thinner than this. So it's like weirding me out. Can't be trusted with the facial razor. I've had this makeup kit since I was literally 11 years old. It used to have drawers and everything, and now it's just like a place to store all my useful like costume makeup. I have all like these glitters in here. So if I can find my glitter glue, then we can do some glitter. Any silver glitter? I used to. I do need some highlighter. This isn't what I want. What am I looking for? Marc Jacobs has awesome makeup, obviously. But I love their highlighters and their bronzers because they're all this side. So it'll go perfectly with the vibe. Question is, should I do lashes? Lashes always make your festival pictures look so much better. <laughs> but I hate putting them on. The thing about this camera is like, why do I look so good on this camera? 
like I look in the mirror and I'm like that's that's not her so it's time for a much needed bagel break did I order three I did Liberty Bagels is the best bagels in New York City. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear anything about Essa Bagel. I used to live like two blocks away from Essa Bagel, one of the locations in Midtown East. Let me tell you, they weren't that good. I got a rainbow one that I want to show. Oh, look how cute. I get the tofu cream cheese. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm struggling. I'm not even like hungover or even that tired, but I'm just so lazy. I'm so lazy. So comfy on my couch. And I'm just like thinking about like last year when I went to Easy, I lived on the east side. So like I just took the six up to 125th Street. And it was so easy. But now I live on the west side and it is a trek <laughs> to get there. Like I just feel so unmotivated right now. And that's where we're at right now. It's like 120 or something like that. All right, here is the finished makeup. I'm just waiting for my hair dry so I can blow dry it easier. I have a new mission. <laughs> I forgot, completely forgot. I was supposed to do this earlier this week. So my trusty Rave Runner by Gen Z, best Rave Hydro Pack ever. This is the only one I believe in. It's um, anti-theft, but anyway, I was at Ultra last year and I was in the middle of the crowd, middle of Carl Cox. It's the last day. I am dying of thirst. Like it was like a hundred degrees in there and like the resistance stage, if you've never been, it's in, it's like an enclosure. It's still outside, but like there's so many people, like there's nowhere, for, I don't know. It's just so fucking hot in there. I was dying and I go to drink this and I find out my hydro pack broke. I don't know how, but like my backpack was all wet. Still don't know what happened, but we're gonna try to figure out how this goes whoever runs this company i love you they are so nice they replaced my ship for free because i have one of like the earlier generation backpacks and i guess there are like some problems with it so like they've been so nice to like send me like anything i need um for free i'm like i love you there's still water in there from ultra i forgot to clean it so i found my earplugs if you've never been to a festival then you probably aren't aware <laughs> that people are pickpockets. Everyone gets their phone stolen at the festival. Don't be that person. Don't put your phone in your pocket, like your shorts pocket. These people are right behind you taking your shit and you don't even know. Uh, get an anti-theft bag. They, yeah, I've never had my phone stolen, knock on wood. But honestly, it's really not that hard to keep your stuff safe. So just don't be stupid and you'll be fine. Uh, Izu last year was a really bad place for pickpockets. I heard like a ton of people got their stuff stolen. If you watch a bunch of the Ultra live streams from 2022, you'll find me in them. I spent most of my time at Main Stage last year. And you'll see me with my backpack. <laughs> it's in the video. We were on the rail like most of the festival. I did it. I did it. Thank God. It's my rice. With your eyes and my little friend. She's ready to go. I should make sure there's nothing in here. Huh. <laughs> Who gave me that? Can you guys see the alien? I don't know if that was what festival that's from. That's so funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you serious? I can't believe I didn't even know that was in there. Full bodysuit. Super cute. I'm like, why do I look like a 50 year old lady right now? I think it's like the eyelashes that do it to me. I almost forgot to put on my candy. I forgot to make a Izu 2023 bracelet. I told you like the blue ones to match my outfit. What are we thinking? I think I need more. Also, it's Izu. You're not gonna really read it. This one was Izu 2022. Claire. All right. So that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much like ready to go. I just like don't know what to do with my hair. But I think I might just ponytail it and like pull my little strands down. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably be sweating anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I have a pregame soon with my friends. I was saving this Red Bull for tonight. It's my second one, but I just, I just need it now. Yeah, that's it. I think this is it, guys. We did it. <laughs> we made it to Izu. 
Oh my god. Hopefully.